Hi, I'm Harold Smith. I have a thought for you today. Jesus commands us to love our neighbors as ourselves. Now, to properly understand that verse, we've first got to understand the definition of love. Love is the, the intention of doing what is good for the person who is loved. And uh, it's not desire. Many people confuse uh, love and desire. Desires can actually be very dangerous. But we are to love. We are to seek what is best. We are to will what is best for the one that we love. And so uh, Jesus uh, gives us a great example of this commandment in the parable of the Good Samaritan. If you remember, uh, there was a person injured on the road, and uh, the Good Samaritan came by, and Jesus said he had compassion, and then he acted. He mended the wounds, he invested time, and he invested even money. And then Jesus asked the question, who was the good neighbor? Who was a neighbor? And of course, uh, in today's uh, society, we get kind of confused uh, uh, and we kind of minimize who our neighbor is because there's so many people around us in the past. Uh, in rural America, uh, the neighbor was uh, two or three people around you. It was not a lot of people. And, and uh, so we, we, we thought of our neighbor as the person who was live next door to us. But in our society today, uh, it's hard. Uh, uh, that definition is kind of hard to use because there's some people who don't really want to be uh, our neighbor. They come in, they drive, they open the garage, they shut the garage door, and they don't want to be disturbed. And so, you know, uh, it's certainly those people we need to be praying for. But the point I want to make to you today, a couple of points. First of all, you know, we've got to understand the word love. The second point is, who is our neighbor? Or who will we be a neighbor to? Now, my best neighbor is my wife, Marcella. My neighbor is also my two daughters and two son-in-laws and eight grandchildren. Because I want what is the very best. I want to do good to them. I love them. And there are certainly others who I have determined that I want to be a neighbor to. I want to listen to. I want to invest time in, energy, and, uh, and resources. The next thing we need to do is make a list. Let's be intentional. Who will we be a neighbor to? And uh, so I want to encourage you to, as we think of this commandment that Jesus gave to us, to love our neighbor as ourselves, that we will be intentional about it. And we will maybe start with one or two and really be intentional and be a good neighbor. Invest time. Listen. Pray for them. And the most important thing that we can do is to help them to know God. That's the most precious thing that we can leave with those who we love. Our neighbor is to help them to know God. So that's my challenge for you today and the thought of the day. Have a great day.